EA Sports. It's in the game. This is it. Championship will be determined tonight. This ain't the amateurs no more. You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. This is the first step up, kid. Use your feet. Keep your hands up. It's all about heart. I'm not gonna cry every time some clown gets hurt. This guy's a friggin' animal! You gotta put this guy on the canvas. Understand? The only way to the title is through me. That's what champions do. They get back up. has developed Ray? here. The paramedics Ray, are up. rushing into the ring. Come on, Ray, get up, man. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Bishop is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Have you, let, let me do it first. Listen, I'm not gonna cry every time some clown gets hurt, right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. That's all for now. Please. Tell Andre Bishop he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out? Good night, Megan. Good night, DL. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. If I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me that I'm going down for setting up bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Don't fuck with me, McQueen. Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. But we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce DL McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding. The fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. Good evening and welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada for this heavyweight championship fight. Tonight, from the NGM Grand on the Vegas Strip, heavyweight champion Isaac Frost looks to defend his belt against Andre Bishop. Of course, Andre Bishop, once a middleweight prospect, the much smaller man now has a comebacking heavyweight, but he is full of revenge, looking to avenge his brother Raymond's loss to Isaac Frost. Teddy, emotions running high. Emotions that must be controlled. You know, you want to get after somebody, you think about boxing, you think about maybe getting angry, going and hitting what you're angry at. You get angry in this business, you get hit more. So it's gonna be the job of Bishop and his people to make sure they control those emotions all night long. Isaac Frost got his eye on the prize. He has complete focus on his ring walk here. Heavyweight 
champion of the world. Okay, this is good, this is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. That's a little random, though. I'm sorry. Okay, 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 break it up. I want to see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. This guy is a freaking animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid. This guy's a friggin' animal. You seen what he done to Raymond? Use your feet. Keep your hands up. Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. Got it, Gus. is underway here. Andre Bishop, the veteran who now seeks to avenge the brutal beating laid down on his brother Raymond from Isaac Frost. Many are wondering, can Andre even survive being in the ring with Isaac Frost? thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power is not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. Halfway through round number one. Back to the Frost's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Solid hook. That uppercut absolutely rocked up. Well, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to get down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. Isaac Frost able to land it. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. To the head he goes with a left hand. Andre. Oh, what a left hand. Oh! Andre Bishop is floored. This is not the first time that he's been on the canvas, so he will not panic. This is like a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before and has gotten up too. And that will serve him because he has survived very difficult things outside the ring. And he is thinking of that right now, believe me. Something about Isaac Frost. He just knows how to get after it early on. The good news for Andre Bishop is he survived the first round. Remember, his brother didn't do that against Isaac Frost. Goes up top with a right hand. Bishop's recuperative ability is being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. That is a sharp uppercut by Andre Bishop. Good-looking uppercut that time. 
Ross getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Wow! Andre Bishop down. Will he be able to survive this? What guts by Andre Bishop? We've seen it throughout his career we've been following, but he wants to fight on here. Big, big uppercut from Isaac Cross, who's a big, big man. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Good combination by Isaac Cross right there, the jab and then the straight hand. Now this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just the sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Good work, kid. Beautiful work. Like we talked about. He's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. Oh, and he digs in with a body shot. Does Andre Bishop against Isaac Frost. That is an ice-cold right hand by Isaac Frost. Good stuff from Andre Bishop right here. Going to the body. Good, consistent work rate to the body of Frost. A good, solid uppercut from Isaac Frost, wasn't it? That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is the key to victory tonight. Another thudding shot. Wow! Andre Bishop is down. How will he survive this? The ref is stopping this fight. Bishop's unable to get himself a world title here tonight. Comes up short. And you know the regrets are going to be going over and over in his mind all night, all day tomorrow, maybe for eternity.
Good work, kid. Beautiful work. Like we talked about. He's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. Number three is underway. Good uppercut by Andre Bishop. Oh, you gotta love Isaac Frost there landing the uppercut. That was something. All of a sudden, just need a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. What guts by Andre Bishop to survive that, and now to move on. Great hook to the head that time. If there's one thing Isaac Cross can do is generate power. Boy, did he just deliver some power with that uppercut. And you can see that Andre Bishop's body work is now. Oh! Down goes Bishop. unable to get himself a world title here tonight comes up short you only get so many of these chances sometimes you only get one you know that's what he's going to be thinking about as he lays his head on his pillow tonight good work kid beautiful work like we talked about he's slowing down a bit so let's help him out a little what do you say I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. Number three is underway. A solid uppercut by Andre Bishop. Right hand downstairs. Well, there's one way to slow the champ. Andre Bishop with a stinging body shot to Isaac Cross. Good right hand. Good power punch to the body. Andre Bishop finding that target now. That good, meaty torso of his opponent. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. How about this? Isaac Frost all shook up. You know, he's so big, he could just lean right in on his opponent and try to survive. Just walk him back. I think Andre Bishop has found something here. More and more body shots landing against the champ. After he wow, Andre Bishop hits the deck. Give me one round, run. Well, we know he can get up. What we don't know is how steady he will be on those legs. But we know his personality. Wow. And Bishop goes down. That's it! It's 
fight's over, fight is over. Bishop's unable to get himself a world title here tonight. Comes up short. So Feeling on top, this is what you call living. 